welcome back to my channel it's Annie here from Staycation Adventures I hope you're having a lovely day so today we are in Folly Farm in Pembrokeshire we are we've come to look at all the safety measures in place and as well as all the rhinos, the penguins, the giraffes, the lions everything else that they have in store for us I've actually been to Folly Farm many times before. It's a fantastic family day out, but I wanted to take you with me today to show you around. Let's go. So as soon as you walk in, there's a hand sanitizing station. It's right behind the gift shop. Okay, so I've just gone through the ticket booth. It's really easy to do. You need your Eventbrite ticket and you need your day entrance ticket. I think if you've got an annual pass or if you're a carer, you don't have to book an Eventbrite ticket. Uh, you can just come in, uh, but anybody who's a paying customer does need to book an Eventbrite ticket and then book their admission ticket. Unfortunately, things aren't opening inside until the 17th of May. So um, today, all the outside attractions are open. And it's just started raining. Mm. Um, but I'll stay, I'll stick through it, and I'll hopefully stay as dry as possible uh, to show you around. Okay, so let's head into the barn. Oh, there's more signage. I've just sanitized my hands. And then there's more social distancing markers. Uh, there's a one-way system, which is great, right? Let's go see some animals and spot some sheep. If you do want to catch this, and you can't travel at the moment, or you can't get to Wales, you can live stream into the goats. There are so many opportunities to actually wash your hands as well as sanitize them. As Farmer Glynn says, please wash your hands. And also, masks are required in the Jolly Barn due to close contact with animals. Didn't know that. Hey guys, it's fine. If you haven't brought your pack lunch, don't worry, I'll pack a lunch. <laughs> right, let's go before I embarrass myself anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Hungry Farmer restaurant is closed. It's an indoor sit-down restaurant. So it is closed for now because of the restrictions, as is the Vintage Fun Fair. They do ask that you walk on the left and there are some fantastic little walkways and signs on the floor to help you with that. The Carousel Woods Burger Bar is open. It's, in, it's a one-way system and it's takeaway only at the moment. And the arrows have got penguins on them. <gasps> okay, let's follow the penguins. Again, if you really love penguins, you can live stream them. So instead of doing animal talks to stop gathering, they are playing uh, recorded versions of the talks on repeat throughout the day. really really liked about being at Folly Farm so far is their emphasis on conservation. It's on absolutely every exhibit where there are endangered creatures such as these lions. I don't know if you can see but the orange is the historical range of a lion and then the grey is the current range of the lions. Very interesting. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
like they're doing some construction and expanding parts of the park. So here at the play area, they've got lots of signs to help you social distance. Uh, hand sanitising station, they're asking you to wash your hands and explaining the rules of play and the children must be supervised. Look at this area, it's fantastic. So on the entrance to all of the plays, play areas, there are social distancing reminders, there are hand sanitizers, and there's rules of play. Look at this area. I think it's fantastic. In this area, there are little tractors, I think they are for little children, but there is hand sanitizer as well as spray and wipes. They ask you to wipe down uh, the pedal tractors before and after using them. I am visiting on a weekday, but I just wanted to point out that I've seen so many picnic benches all around the uh, the park and the zoo uh, it's just really nice to see so many areas for people to sit and have their lunch so at certain parts of the park where there are picnic benches and tables they usually have a sanitizer hand sanitizer and some wipes for the table okay i'm getting kind of hungry so let's go into the oh, carousel woods burger bar and grab some lunch They've got social distancing markers on the floor all the way around the queue to the paying point. It's so nice being back out, but also it's really nice to be back and supporting our attractions, particularly the ones which have animals, our zoos, wildlife centres, that kind of thing, because they've had their, their overheads have been so much bigger and yet they haven't been able to uh you know have visitors in but i know that living coasts down in devon closed during i think it was during the first lockdown because they just couldn't they couldn't see themselves survive in the lockdown so I'm so glad to be back out today supporting a Welsh attraction, a Welsh zoo, um, a Welsh farm. You know, it's nice to be back out and supporting, yeah, supporting Wales, supporting our Welsh attractions. And just to clear it up, you don't need to wear a mask when you're outdoors. You're, uh, according to Welsh, Welsh Government guidelines, you only need to be wearing a mask if you are indoors, such as in the cafe, well, there's the cafes and open, uh, if you're in the shop or the uh, visitor centre, um, if you're in the toilets, they ask you to wear a mask, and if you are queuing up, uh, so when I queued for my food, I popped a mask on before I went inside. <laughs> Song always reminds me of Shrek. Anyway, uh, I've been thinking, about how it's so nice that there are so many different things to see outside. Although the fun fair and the uh, indoor play area is closed, uh, it's, it's really nice to see that there are so many different play areas and so many animals to see, so many places to stop and grab some, you know, grab some snacks, grab, grab a hot drink, have a sit down, you know, you can sit on the grass, you can go and play somewhere. It's so nice to see there is so much space again for people to explore and play and I think for kids they've missed out on playing for so 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 long this year. It's just so nice to see children playing and out and exploring again. Okay so let's go into the gift shop and I'll let's have a little look see what's in here. Wow look at that these shelves this is just amazing okay so naturally they have plenty of farming toys uh, plush toys of all the toys that, that they have here you can see a sloth and a giraffe lions then they have cars and toys and diggers and some science equipment i've even spotted some harry potter plushes okay i wanted something folly farm to take home uh they've got lanyards they've got binoculars 
they've got pencils, calculators, pens, uh, torches, notebooks, great idea, wristbands, sharpeners, flat bands, um, sharpeners, I think I'm going to go for a pencil, there you are, so this year I've decided now I'm going to collect a pencil from every place I visit. This is perfect. I know children really struggle to make their minds up. Now they can make their own little folly farm at home. You can get six of them for £2.50. Amazing. But look, they've got little giraffe timers. Should we turn one? Wow. <laughs> cool. They've even got the Folly Farm things in sloth. Look, little tiny sloth. This has to be the coolest shelving I've ever seen. It's board themed. So at all of the checkouts in the shops, they have social distancing markers on the floor to help you at social distance. Then they have these plastic perspex screens. And again, social distancing. They aren't using the middle till to help distance people at the tills. Yeah, they also ask you to use contactless payment where possible. Okay, so you've got the dairy shed over there where they sell ice creams and hot drinks. And then you've got Kutch Coffee just here. The entrance is here. Again, some hand sanitizer, uh, foot markers, more markers. Oh, and look at all of these cakes. Yum. <laughs> I think I'll have a brownie. Okay, so I grabbed a child's hot chocolate because I didn't fancy a, a, an adult sized one and a chocolate brownie. They look so good. That's really good hot chocolate. Oh, yum. That was really good. I would 100% have that again. Since the sun is out and the chill has gone slowly and that hot chocolate definitely helped. I'm going to go and see about the land train. So I'm going to go through the underpass and go to the other side of the road where the, uh, the other part of the farm is. Let's go. Access to the land train and the piggery on the other side of the road is through this underpass here. If we look on the map, this is uh, where we currently are, the Jolly Barn. We are here, we're going to go through the underpass over to the other side to the land train they've got pigs they've got uh, goats and sheep and horses and I think the llamas are all packers they're llamas right let's go okay so on the other side is the land train this is a tractor pulled ride I suppose it is <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, a tractor pulled ride. Uh, it takes you all around the farmland on the other side of the road. The land train leaves every 20 minutes. Um, it lasts about 15 minutes. Uh, it's completely free. It's wheelchair accessible as well. Um, and it operates between 11 and 3 p.m. So I'm about to ride the land train. Uh, Let's go. Choo choo. So this is Percy's Piggery. Again, you've got a hand sanitizing station. They do ask that only two household members attend going at a time. And yeah, let's have a look. So to 
ride this and some of the other attractions here you do need tokens tokens of 50 pence each and to get on the Pembrokeshire wheel you need two per person tokens are really easy to buy you just come to the uh, Little, almost like a shed section right next to the wheel and you put in money there you are there are my tokens let's go ride the wheel love love the playgrounds here at folly farm they're all so immersive and themed they're so well kept and they just look really really exciting to play in look at this it's a proper boat just about to head home and I just wanted to round up my day with you I've had the most fantastic day today I've seen so many animals and had such a lovely time all of the staff I've spoken to have been really helpful and so nice and they knew everything that, that was going on that day and I yeah I couldn't I couldn't praise them enough uh, they were all wearing masks I spoke to someone and it's to do with the Folly Farm guidelines for their staff members so they either wear masks or face shields when they're there uh, in terms of cleanliness it's so clean there are hand sanitizers everywhere hand washing facilities in lots of places the toilets were so clean I don't think I've ever seen attraction toilets so clean uh, the um, sanitizing stations at the playgrounds and at the uh, d different different entrances to different places such as toilets and cafes were all full all day um, in terms of space there was so much of it to run around for kids for families to move uh, yeah it's just such a fantastic place for space um what else did we have so the uh, facilities the playgrounds the animal enclosures they were so well maintained i can't stress that enough i was so impressed the playgrounds were incredible like i had to jump in at one point um and in terms of uh, social distancing markers i loved the uh the specialized animal ones they had uh, they had ones with pigs on them in the barn they had ones with penguins on them in the penguins i loved it folly farm an incredible day out an incredible after school activity weekend activity it's fun for the entire family even if you've got teenagers they're gonna love the giraffes and the lions and the kitten the little ones will love absolutely all of the animals so head on down get yourself a ticket change it to an annual pass i highly recommend folly farm if you're new to the channel click on the subscribe button we've got lots of plans in place for 2020 lots of exciting fun places to go just like folly farm uh, and we'll be telling you all the safety measures and how safe it is and whether it's worth a trip with your family we are also on social media follow us is at or slash staycation adventures and we'll keep you up to date with all the places we're going give you some inspiration and as well i've got top tips every tuesday the end of another fantastic adventure i highly recommend this place you're going to enjoy it when you get down here i'll see you on the next adventure peace out